بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ اسٹوڈینٹس یو آل آر گڈ ایٹ یور ہوم اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل بائی دا فیس آف اللہ آئی ایم ویری تھینک فل ٹو یو فار یور کوپریشن ان ڈیورنگ دا آن لائن کلاسز یور اپریسیشن ان دا آن لائن کلاسز از ہائیلی یور پارٹیسپیشن ان دا آن لائن کلاسز از ہائیلی اپریشیبل تھینکس آر لاڈ فار یور کوپریشن Okay, so students, basically we were doing our chapter number three, common factions, and we were on the last exercise of chapter number three, that is 3.6. But since you have submitted your math class for copies uh, in the school for checking, so that's why we will stop the work there on exercise 3.6, question number three. And today we will going to start, or today we are moving towards the new chapter, uh, new subject that is algebra okay so basically we are starting from algebra today and as soon as you will get your maths copies then we will move on to the math again okay so till then we will starting our uh, algebra first okay so uh, basically this is your uh, lecture number 10 in total you this is your lecture number 10 and i am your uh, Sixth grade math teacher, Miss Falaknas. Okay. So basically, first of all, you should know what is algebra. Okay. You should know what is algebra. What does algebra means? Okay. So what is algebra? Basically, algebra is the use of letters. Algebra is the use of letters and symbols. Means in algebra, you will use letters. Letters mean like alphabets a b c d till z okay so if you will use the letters and symbols like addition subtraction and different types of symbol to represent values to represent what values different sort of values and their relations especially for solving questions so what is algebra it is the use of letters and Yes, I am going to give the homework today. Inshallah, Inshallah. Okay. So algebra is the use of letters and symbols. So in algebra, what you will use, you will use letters and symbols to represent your values and their relations. Okay. For solving equation, whereas in math, arithmetic. Whereas in arithmetic, arithmetic deals with numbers only. You have done so many questions of arithmetic in previous classes, and you see that we were only uh, dealing with the numbers only. So arithmetic is uh, in arithmetic you will only deal with the numbers, whereas uh, in algebra, where is in algebra you will use letters along with numbers. Okay. So we will start from the chapter algebraic expressions. Okay, this is your chapter number nine from page number one hundred and eleven of your book, and here is the picture of chapter number nine, algebraic expression. Okay, this is the chapter number, and this is the chapter title that is algebraic expression, and this is on page number one hundred and eleven of your book, and this is a topic of algebra. Okay, so first of all, here what you have. Here you have algebraic expression. Okay, first I am going to explain the title of this chapter. So I will start from expression to what does expression mean, and what type of expression will be considered as algebraic expressions. Here, if you look first, I will going to explain the term expression means what does expressions mean. Okay, you are familiar with the following type of numerical expression. Okay, here the term is numerical. Numerical means number. Okay, in arithmetic, you have these such kind of expression. Basically, these are the expression in which you have numbers, and they are adding up together or they are uh, subtracting with each other. So these are the expression, but the expressions that contains numbers only. These are the expressions, okay? But <clears throat> the expression that contains number only, they are called numerical expression. Just suppose here you have three multiplied by twelve or three bracket. Twelve. So, what is it? It is the algebra uh, numerical expressions. Why numerical expression? Where you have because you here you have numbers and the numbers are multiplying with each other. That's why it will become our expression. 
just suppose here here you have what 3 plus 2 okay 3 plus 2 bracket out of the bracket you have 6 here so this is again an expression this is a kind of expression but this is numerical expression similarly here you have 15 minus 4 multiplied by 6 okay 15 minus 4 multiplied by 6 so again this is an expression everything that is uh, written in this form like you have numbers and they are uh, subtracting or they are multiplying. So this form is called as expression. But which type of expression is this? It is a numerical expression. Why numerical? Numerical means number. Okay. So it is an expression that contains numbers on it. Okay. And this type of expressions will be present in arithmetic. Okay. Okay, before uh, defining the algebraic expression, let's quickly go through some more important, some most important definitions. Here you have the definition of variable. So you should know in algebra what is variable because it plays a very important role in algebra. Variable plays a very important role in algebra. So what is variable? A variable is a letter. Okay, again it is a letter or symbol. Letter means what? A, B, C, D, E, F, G till Z that represents a number okay instead of number instead of number like one two three four five six in algebra instead uh, along with number or you can say instead of number if you want to represent anything you will use letter okay you will use letter you will use alphabets okay but that are unknown quantity means uh, if you have a number here just suppose here you have 12 and 6, so it means you know what does 12 and 6. You can add it together. But in a variable, you don't know the quantity of the variable. You do not know the value of the variable. So what is called a variable in algebra? Any alphabet. Just suppose here is the example. Here what you have 8 plus n is equals to 12. So this 8 is a number. Okay, This 12 is a number. But here you have an alphabet or you can say letter called N. So this N in algebra, only in algebra, this N is called variable. Okay. So what is variable? Any letter that represents a number and you do not know the quantity. It means you don't know what will you will add in uh, 8 plus N, it will become 12. So you do not know the value of this N. Okay. A variable can use any letter, okay? Means if you have any variable in algebra, you can any use any letter of the alphabet. Means you have alphabets from A to Z, but you can use all these numbers as to represent the variable, but except O and needs to be lowercase. Except O means you do not use O in algebra as a variable, okay? Especially that, okay? Here, I am going to give you some more examples of variable. Here you have n plus 5. 5 is the number, n is the letter or you can say alphabet. So, it is a variable. Similarly, what is variable here? Here the variable is x. Why variable here is x? Because it is the alphabet. But 7 is not the variable. Okay, again, what is variable here? Here the variable is w. Here the variable is w. Again. 25 is not the variable. Why 25 is not the variable? Because it is a number. Okay. And you know the value of 25, but you do not know the value of variable. Okay. Now, these are the variable. Variables mean any letter. Okay. Next is what? Okay. Now, after explaining L, uh, variable, now let's move on to the definition of algebraic expression. This is the title of your chapter number 9 as well. So here I am going to explain what does algebraic expressions mean. Okay. What is algebraic expressions? When variables. Variables. Job variables. Can you variables? What are variables? Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G or M, N, O, P, Q or X, Y, Z. So when variables are used with other numbers. Okay. When you will use variables with numbers, numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, with other numbers as well as parentheses. Parentheses means brackets, okay, parentheses, brackets, aapke paas. or operations. What are operations? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. 
if you have a variable along with numbers parentheses or operation so they create an algebraic expression so what kya ban jayegi aapke paas it will become a algebraic expression in numerical expression you have only numbers but in algebraic expression you also have a variable okay if the variable is there the expression will be algebraic if the variable is not there the expression will be numerical here you have here what you have a a is the variable plus plus is the operation and 2 2 is the number okay so a plus 2 it is an algebraic expression because variable is here here you have a bracket b bracket what does it mean a multiply by b okay again it is a variable because you have variables here a and b and you have parentheses that are brackets here okay so again it is an algebraic expression okay next again here you have a long expression like you here you have 3m okay three number okay that is multiplied with m here so it will become 3m here you have plus sign then you have 6n means 6 is multiplied with the variable n and then last is only minus 6 so here what you have here you have operations here you have variables and here you have numbers as well okay so what is this it is a it is an algebraic expression why algebraic expression because they have variables along with numbers and operations okay so in algebraic expression variables are used with other numbers parentheses or operations okay okay what are coefficients what are coefficients a coefficient is the number okay again it is a number number like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but it is multiplied or divided by the variable in an algebraic expression means in what is coefficient coefficient it will be any number 1 2 3 4 but that number should be multiplied or divided means in which form it should be in multiplication or division form by the variable what is variable your alphabets x y z a b c in an algebraic expression so kisi bhi algebraic expression mein if you have a number that is multiplied or divided by variable so that number is called coefficient okay just suppose here you will look here you have algebraic expression that is 6m plus 5 okay 6m plus 5 here you have. here you have coefficient is the number so here you have two numbers 5 and 6 and if i ask you which will be the coefficient here so 5 is not the coefficient because it is not multiplied or divided by any variable here you have 6 6 is multiplied by this variable that is m so 6 multiplied by m so here your number 6 will be the coefficient okay so what is coefficient any number that is multiplied or divided with your variable next again if you look here here you have 8 r okay so 8 multiplied by r plus 7 multiplied by m plus 4 okay nothing is written between them so it means they are multiplying with each other here 8 and r nothing is written between them so it means they are multiplying with each other so any number that will be multiplied by the variable or divided by the variable that number is called coefficient okay here 8 is coefficient because it is multiplied by the variable r 7 is coefficient because it is multiplied by the variable m so here the coefficients are 8 and 7 but not 4 why because 4 is not multiplied or divided by any variable okay in the next if you will look very carefully 14 upon b minus 8 14 upon b minus 8 means here you have a number that is 14 and 14 is divided by b that is your variable okay 14 is divided by b that is your variable so any number that will be divided by the variable again it will become a coefficient but your 8 is not coefficient because it is not multiplying or divided by any variable so a number that is multiplied or divided by variable in an algebraic expression they are called 
coefficients. Okay. Ab aap inko numbers nahi bolenge. Ab you don't say that eight r or uh, what is it the number eight. No, you will say the coefficient eight. Okay. It is called coefficient. Okay. And r is the variable. Okay. Next is what is our term? Our term is the name given to a number or variable. Term, what is our term? It is the name given to a number or variable or a number and a variable combined by multiplication or division. Just suppose here you have algebraic expression a plus 2. So it is a name given to number. Here you have number 2, a variable. Here you have a variable a or a number and a variable combined by multiplication or division means in terms what you have the terms which are multiplying with each other which are divided by each other which are addition or subtracted by each other so they are separated with the of different types of operations so they will become a term here you have a is the term and two is the term a is variable as well and two is the number as well but here you can say these are the terms of algebraic expressions here you have 3m plus 6n minus Six. So the each thing, 3m, 6n, and 6, they are separating by the sign of positive plus and minus. So each thing will become our term. So here 3m is our term. Okay. 6n is our term. And 6 is a term. That is minus 6. Sign are very important here. So minus 6, you will write here. Minus 6 is a complete term. Okay. Next is the last definition what are constants okay if you look here here you can say a is the variable 2 is the number 3 is the coefficient m is the variable so 3m will become a one term here 6 is the coefficient n is the variable and 6 and become one term and here you have 6 so what this 2 and 6 called okay what you will call this 2 and 6 if you look here, so a constant is a number that cannot change its value. Constant kya ho jayega aapke paas in algebraic expression? So in algebra, algebraic expression, constant will be a number that cannot change its value. It means you cannot change the value of the number. In the expression, if you look here, here you have an algebraic expression 5x plus 7y minus 2. Here you have 5 and x. 5 is the coefficient x is the variable and it will become a one term plus then 7 is the coefficient and y is the variable it will become one term and here you have 2 means you cannot change the value of this 2 so what will become 2 2 is your constant okay so what will be the 2 2 is your constant means if nothing no variable is written with the number then number will be called as constant if the variable are written with the number so the number is called coefficient this is coefficient 7 is coefficient but 2 is your constant so in this expression minus 2 okay it is written with the sign of minus 2 the signs are very important in algebra so you will write minus 2 is the constant and you cannot change the value of minus 2 means you cannot make it 1 2 3 or 5 okay so this is the constant so this is an algebraic expression in algebraic expression you have coefficients you have variables you have operations like plus and minus and as well as you have a constant that is 2 here now after this, I am going to explain the sum of algebraic expression. Means if you have any expression, algebraic expression, and you have to add it. So how will you add it? Sum means addition. I am going to explain it in both. In arithmetic means how will you do uh, addition in arithmetic and how will you do addition in algebra. So first take the example of arithmetic. And the very simple example is this. If there are 15 black pens, if you have 15 black pens and 10 blue pens, then how many pens will be all together? Okay. If you have 15 black pens and 10 black pens, so how many pens will be all together? So in arithmetic, you will do very simple calculation. You will write numerical expression because you have only numbers here, 15 and 10. So what you will do, you will simply add 15 and 10. Okay. So 10 plus 15, it will become 25. Pens. In arithmetic, the same calculation is very simple. Addition is very simple. But in algebra, what you have in algebra, you will have variables. Okay. Instead of numbers, you have variables. 
just suppose here you have if there are x black pens and y blue pens if there are x black pens and y blue pens then how many pens will be all together all together means you have to add it so how will you add it you have here variables x and y so what you will do you will simply write algebraic expression in this form you will simply write x plus y just suppose here you have write 15 plus 10 here you will write x plus y inside the bracket and you will write pens x plus y pens here you will add 10 plus 15 it will become 25 but you cannot here add x into 5 because x and 5 y are different variables x and y are different variables so you cannot add them so your answer will be x plus y pens that's it okay that's it no xy is not the answer xy is not the answer because you cannot x and y you will simply write x plus y okay xy means you are multiplying okay next is you have the difference of algebra okay the words that leads to addition here i'm going to show you some words according to which you have to add it means if the word sum is used so it means you have to add if more than term is used in any word problem it means you have to add the expression if increased is word increased is used in any uh, word problem it means you have to add the expression and similarly if the term plus and all together means these are the words that can lead to addition if these type of words are used in any algebraic expression means you have to add the expression next is the difference of algebraic expression difference means what minus okay so in arithmetic just suppose you have an example like uh, here you have an example if ali has 10 apples okay how many apples ali has 10 and he add 2 then how many apples will be left okay will be left so what do you have to do you will subtract it in just like this you will subtract 2 from 10 so you will write 10 minus 2 these are the very simple examples so what it will become 8 apples means how many apples will be left 8 apples this is the way to solve these questions in arithmetic but if you have algebra so in algebra what type of word problem will you have here will you you will have variables means if ali has x apples means ali ke kitne apples hai? x hai. and he ate y usne kitne kha liye y then how many apples will left how many apples left will left so what will be the algebraic expression here you will simply minus x minus y you will simply write x minus y and apples inside the bracket you will write x minus y and outside the bracket you will write apples here do no need of bracket okay but here is a need of bracket because you cannot subtract it that's why you are placing the brackets here and these are must means these brackets are must here okay okay now the words that leads to subtraction means in any word problem if these words are used just suppose you have decreased time or number you have decreased word you have less word you have difference word or you have minus word so these are the words that represent subtraction if these are these words are used in any uh, word problem so it means you have to subtract the algebraic expression next is the product of algebraic expression so what is the product product means multiplication in algebra we do not write multiplication of algebraic expression instead we write product the product means multiplication so in arithmetic if you have a question in if one book cost rupees 5 agar ek book ki cost kitni hai aapke paas 5 then find the cost of three books okay if one book ek book ki cost kitni hai 5 hai to three books ki kitni hogi so what you will do you will simply multiply it okay so in numerical expression what will be the numerical expression here you will simply multiply this 5 by 3 if one is given and you have to find out the value of three numbers so what you will do you will multiply it and it is very simple what will be the price of three books rupees 15 okay but in algebra what you will have i'm going to explain it with two more two examples just suppose here you have if one book cost rupees z here you have cost of one book is rupees 5 here you have cost of one book is rupees z 
देन फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री बुक्स तो आपको कितनी बुक्स की कॉस्ट फाइंड आउट करनी है थ्री बुक्स की एंड इन एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू वट यू हैव इन वन बुक कॉस्ट रुपीज जेड मतलब एक बुक की कॉस्ट कितनी है जेड देन फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ वाई बुक्स नंबर ऑफ बुक्स कितने यहाँ पर वाई है और कॉस्ट प्राइस क्या है रुपीज जेड so if you want to write the algebraic expression of these uh, word problem so how will you write you will simply multiply this z okay you will simply multiply the rupees with the number of books so you will write z multiply by 3 you will write simply here z multiply by 3 or simply you can write very simple rupees 3z okay units are very important you have to write the unit as well so what it will become it will become rupees 3z similarly here you have z and y so you will multiply this z and y so what you will write here z multiply by y in number 2 you have z and y so you will write z multiply by y or you can say rupees y z simply you will write rupees y z if no sign is bit present between the variables and here so it means they are multiplying with each other so in algebra we will use this type of form okay okay now what are the words that leads to multiplication i have told you about product products means kya hota hai aapke paas algebra mein multiplication times agar kahin pe likha hua hai how many times would it be to aapne kya karna hai multiply simply aur aapke paas last ek common term hai that is multiply so these are the words that can be used in any word problem so it means you have to multiply the given numbers or variables the last is the quotient of algebraic expression quotient means what divide okay product means multiplication in algebra and quotient means divide division of algebraic expression so in arithmetic what you have here if five if five boys share 10 apples if you have five boys that share 10 apples if five boys share 10 apples equally among themselves means number of wives boys kitne aapke paas five hai and they have to share 10 apples then what will each get Here you have to find out the each. So, jahan kahi par bhi each find out karna hota hai. What you will do, you will divide it. Okay, you will divide. So, simply, what will be the numerical expression of this? It is very simple. You will divide this ten by five. Okay, do not write five divided by ten because total number of boys will be considered your denominator, and the amount to be shared it is considered with your numerator. So, simply, you will divide this ten by five, and five ones are five, five twos are ten. so what it will be it will be two apples very simple so har ek boy ko kitne apples mil jayenge two apples similarly in algebra what you have if five boys share x apples means five boys hain aur wo kitne apples share kar rahe hain x apples so share amount kya hai unka x apple and number of boys five hain so what will each boy get and here you have if y boys share x apples okay if y boys share x apples equally among themselves then what will each boy so number of boys kitne yahan par y aur share kitna karna hai x so jo amount share karna hai wo aapka numerator ho jayega here just suppose in expression here the amount to be shared is x so you will divide this x by 5 so you will write x divided by 5 here simply your here shared amount is x and the number of boys are 5 so you will simply write x upon 5 apples okay units are very important so apples are here so you should write apples okay units are very important okay so in simply you will not further divide it and you cannot get the answer these are the answers because in variable you cannot uh, uh, remove it or you cannot replace it reduce it just like here okay this is the difference between arithmetic and algebra okay this is the answer variables are your answer so the words that leads to division are quotient and divide means agar term quotient use ho rahi hai to it's mean you have to divide and divide ka aapko pata hai okay now i'm going to solve some exercise 9.1 it is very simple and easy here you have exercise 9.1 write the following into symbolic form symbolic form means aapko isko symbol mein likhna hai okay so what you have just suppose you have number 2 7 minus 2 so 7 minus 2 ki symbolic form kya ho jayegi so you will simply write 7 minus 2 okay isko a minus nahi karna hai bas isko symbolic mein likhna hai okay number 5 aapke paas kya hai sum of 2 and 4 sum means kya ho jayega addition okay so you will do 2 plus 4 here fir you have difference of 9 and 
नंबर सिक्स में क्या है डिफरेंस ऑफ नाइन एंड फाइव डिफरेंस का मतलब क्या होता है माइनस सो यू विल सिंपली राइट नाइन माइनस फाइव यहाँ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू में क्या है राइट द फॉलोइंग इन टू वर्ड्स अब इनको आपने वर्ड्स में कन्वर्ट करना है हाउ यू विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू वर्ड्स जस्ट सपोज नंबर टू हेयर यू हैव सेवन माइनस टू सो यू विल सिंपली राइट डिफरेंस डिफरेंस मीन्स माइनस डिफरेंस ऑफ सेवन एंड टू एंड द लास्ट इज यू हैव नंबर थ्री सेवन प्लस सिक्स ओके सेवन प्लस सिक्स so what it will be sum of 7 and 6 so for subtraction you will use difference and for addition you will use sum sum of 7 and 6 this are very simple okay i think ya bahut aaram se karte hain okay i am going to explain this one ye these are the uh, exercise number 1.1 acha ye jo copy mein aapne ye book mein karna hai these are the word problems but you have to solve these word problems in the book just suppose i am going to explain the number 1 here you have what is the length of the knife you have to tell the length of the knife here the length of the blade is 8 cm and the length of the handle is 8 cm so what you will do you will simply add it so how will you add it you will write 8 cm plus x cm okay you have same unit here so in bracket you can write in this form like 8 Plus x centimeter. Okay. Next, you have what is the total cost of these balls? Total find out करना. In total, what you have to do? You have to multiply. Here you have rupees five, and here you have rupees x. So total cost पता नहीं है आपने. कि इसकी five है तो इसकी x है. तो कितनी आ total cost हो जाएगी? Simply आपने क्या करना है? Here you will add it. So simply you will write rupees five plus rupees x, or you can write it like this. 5 plus x inside the bracket and you will write here rupees okay these are very simple means according to the given figures you have to solve these okay what is the length of the handle okay here you have to tell the length of the handle here you have the total length that is r cm and the length of the blade is s cm and you have to tell the length of this portion so what you will do you will minus the total length okay you will minus the length of the blade from the length of total length so simply you will write r cm that is your total length minus s cm so what it will become r minus s bracket cm okay okay this is very important what is the length of these four screws here you have four screws 1 2 3 and 4 simply you have to add it four screws hai inki length batani hai what you have to do you will simply add them means you will simply add this y cm plus y cm plus y cm and plus y cm this is very simple you have to add it but if you look here you have four y okay here you have four y so you will simply write four y cm okay four y cm because variables are same so you can simply write four y cm okay next here you have what is the weight of each bag acha here you have the term each so in each what you have to do you have to divide it okay in each you have to divide the term okay so here you have 2x gram the total weight is 2x gram and you have to find out the weight of only one bag so you will write 2x and total number of bags are here 2 so you will simply divide this 2x by the number of bags so how will you write it 2x grams this is 2x grams divided by 2 okay 2x grams divided by 2 so what you will do you will divide it here 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 so what will be left here x gram so what will be the answer answer will be x gram yahan pe aapne simply isko divide kar diya and the let the quotient that the, the remainder will be your answer that is x ग्राम जरे दो का वेट टू एक्स है तो वन का वेट कितना हो जाएगा एक्स ग्राम ओके द लास्ट इज हियर वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ ईच पीस अगेन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ ईच ईच मीन्स सिंगल फाइंड आउट करना है तो जहां कहीं इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड द टर्म ईच सो यू विल डिवाइड इट हेयर यू हैव थ्री पीसेस कितने पीसेस है हेयर यू हैव वन टू एंड थ्री okay and the total length of three pieces is y meter and you have to find out the length of each piece so what you will do you will divide this y meters by 3 why 3 because you have three pieces here so you will write y meters that is a total amount divided by 3 
so what will be your answer simply y upon 3 because you nothing can be reduced here you cannot divide this 3 by y so you will simply write write y upon 3 meters so that's the end of today's lecture means today i have explained so many simple and easy questions so this is the end of the lecture if you want to ask any question please write it down in the chat box until then i am going to mark your attendance okay write down each and every question in the chat box and uh, inshallah we will give you today assignment okay okay i am done with your attendance now okay nida uh, homework later please please i have buy my copy on saturday because it was not available on the book shop so can i submit the homework later beta uh, you can ask the management uh, because you have to submit the copy on time you have to submit the copy on time so or kaun si sari copies jo aapko jis pe assignments mile hain you have to submit those copies only okay you have to submit those copies only jo bis pe assignment mile just suppose uh, you have to only submit your math arithmetic copy not the algebra aaj jo work aapko milega you will have to do that work in algebra okay today work will be done in algebra copy that is single line of 160 pages okay now one minute class look at here okay now look at here i am going to uh, give some more questions from this means you have to solve these questions in books okay i am going to uh, give the homework of this exercise exercise 9.1 and you have to solve this in your book just like this way and you will use the pen here that's why i am writing this thing in blue here because in book you have to solve it it with blue pen okay okay can anyone tell me ki aaj ke topic ke hawale se if you want to ask anything yesterday is the last day of submission of work beta it will be soon returned to you you sara inshallah we will uh, return it you soon okay ajwa and you sara ajwa what you were asking please reply ajwa uh, sari copy submit karana zaruri hai jisme homework gaya hai wo submit karwana hai okay this oppo a at 3 beta main aapki attendance mark nahi kar rahi because i don't know your number Roll number and class. Oppo A eight three. Okay, class. Is this any question? Okay, so this is the end of the lecture, and I am very thankful to all of you for being with me. Please take care yourself. Stay safe. Stay at home. Allah Hafiz. Okay.